Biden meets with the Prime Minister of Japan as he first arrives in Japan for the G7. On Thursday, President Joe Biden touched down in Japan as part of a brief trip to Asia and tended to support friends in the face of China's expanding military and economic aspirations. Biden will make an effort to bring together the heads of some of the biggest economies in the world behind a pledge to confront Beijing's aggressions. When it comes to matters like Taiwan, the South China Sea, and Beijing's oppressive economic policies, the president values cooperation and favors a unified front. I think you will see, coming out of this summit, alignment and convergence around the fundamental principles of our approach to the People's Republic of China, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan told reporters aboard Air Force One as Biden flew to Japan. Of course, each country has its own distinct relationship and its own distinct approach, but those relationships and approaches are built on a common basis. And I think you will see that reflected in the outcomes of the G7. As soon as he lands, Joe Biden will meet with Fumio Kishida, the Prime Minister of Japan. In response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine and China's increasing military aggressiveness, the summit's host nation has strengthened its foreign policy, a move that has been warmly received by the White House. In response to mounting threats from regional competitors, especially China, Kushida launched a new national security strategy in December that amounted to the nation's largest military expansion since World War II, tripling the defense budget and departing from its pacifist constitution. The choice signaled a significant shift for the country as well as the U.S. security coalition in the Indo-Pacific region. With threats coming from North Korea, Iran, and Russia, none of which have a clear resolution, there are growing nuclear security concerns at the time of this week's meeting. Joe Biden's trip, which was originally scheduled to last eight days, has been cut in half. Two of Biden's three destinations have been eliminated so that he may return to Washington for discussions on lifting the U.S. debt ceiling.